Well, hey there, beautiful people. It's tutorial time. So this uh, this is going to be a little tutorial for anyone having trouble getting a RenPy game to launch natively in Linux. Um, you know, I struggled a bit, not, not going to lie. You know, I was a Windows pleb. I didn't know nothing about no Linux when I developed this game. Um, there weren't very many resources I could find, like, talking about it, so... Uh, I, I kind of had to figure this all out on my own through trial and error and, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and maybe a little bit of crying and vomiting. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so if you use... Okay, if you use uh, RenPy to build your game, you know, you... You tell it to, you know, build your, your build. Uh, you should end up with a zip folder, kind of like this. Uh, I'm going to extract that real quick. And we're just going to leave it on the desktop, just because it makes life a little bit easier. Um, but you're going to need to know the uh, directory of the folder. You're going to need to take note of the uh, directory of the folder where you're keeping the folder. Um because you're going to have to do some terminal hackery to get the game to run. So just keep in mind wherever you're putting the game folder. Um, let's double click on that and open it up. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, if you build your distributions and um, in RenPy and you, uh, if you select... Uh, I think it's PC and Linux is what I used. Uh, it should look something like this. Um, there is also an option for, you know, Macintosh, but I don't know. I, you have to, like, jump through some, like, weird hoops for Apple to, you know, be able to publish a game on their platform. You have to get, like, some kind of weird certification or something I really don't feel like screwing with, to be perfectly honest. I just, I don't care. Um... So if you select Mac and Lin or blah, blah, blah. if you select PC and Linux, this is something like what it should look like. Um, all right, as you can see, you have your little Windows executable here. You know, Arya Dating Simulator, which is the name of the name of my game. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Go buy it. Um, you know, .exe. You know, and I mean, you you could probably. You know, use Wine or some kind of Windows emulator if you wanted to, and just just run the EXE. But man, there's no fun in that. We're not we're not we're not doing it that way. All right, no sir. We're 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 gonna run it natively in Linux. So what you need to target for Linux is this little file right here. By the way, if you put a RenPy game up on Steam and it asks you for a file to target, uh, you know, an executable uh, for Linux, this is also the file you're going to need to target. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the exe executable will, you know, work just fine for Windows. Uh, but if you're not very familiar with Linux, like I wasn't, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the file you're going to need to target. All right. Now... What this is, is it's a script that you run inside the terminal. Um, it's a shell script, I believe. I think that's what SH stands for. Um, if I double click on it, it ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. Um, I think it'll like open up in some weird like text folder or in some weird text editor, so something, something like that. Um, it's just script is what it is. So you can't, you can't run it by double clicking on it. You gotta use terminal. Um, however, here's the thing. By default, everything's gonna be locked up. So if you, um, if you try to get it to run in the terminal, it's gonna scream at you. It's gonna say, no, I'm not playing this. It's not safe. You haven't given me the permission to do it. No, sir. Get lost, chump, is what it yells at you. That's exactly what it says. So uh, to fix the terminal from screaming at you, screeching at you like a banshee, uh, you could right click on it and hit properties like I did, and then go over here to permissions. 
and make sure this down here is checked. Allow executing file as program. Um, now you can do this within the terminal too. There are uh, there are some commands you could type in if you want to to change the permissions manually to make you know something executable. Um, but I don't. I just don't feel like it. You know, I just don't feel like it. So I'm just going to do it the laziest way imaginable and just right click on the file and hit properties. And uh, there you go. This makes life a little bit easier. Um, you can look that up. You can look it up. If you want to learn how to do it in the terminal, you can. It's like change mod or chmod uh, plus x or something like that. Um, now, when you run this shell file, what's going to do is it's going to take the terminal over to here, the lib folder, and then depending on whether your operating system is 32-bit uh, or 64-bit, it's going to send it down one of these two folders right here. Um, now, the issue I was running into when I was trying to run this game originally was, um, <clears throat> well, I would try, I would try running, hang on, let me go back. I would try running the shell script in the terminal, but it would still keep screaming at me. It's like, no, you dummy, I'm not going to run this thing. And I'm like, but why? Why won't you run this damn shell script? I already gave it the permission to execute. Well, unfortunately, I didn't realize you actually need to have two files be executable in order for it to run. And that's why I was talking about it's going to send it down this lib folder and then either to uh, one, one of these two folders. Um, and I believe 64 here is the 60, or Linux times 8664 over here. I believe this is the 64-bit uh, version. And I think this one over here, i686, is the 32-bit version, I believe. Uh, but just for the sake of making things easier, um, I would just do what I'm about to show you to both files. So, yeah, you open the folders up, and you'll notice this strange little file uh, named after the game. And you're going to find this in both folders. Now, it's kind of weird. It doesn't really seem to have a file type. It just states the name of the game. Um, you know, the name of my game is Are You Dating Simulator, so it's going to say Are You Dating Simulator, but it'll say whatever the name of the game is that you're, you're trying to get to run. Um, but anyway, we're going to ignore this sorcery because I don't, don't quite understand why it doesn't have a file type. And we're going to go down to permissions and we're going to make sure that this box is checked, allow executing files program, just, just like with that first shell file. And... You know, just for the sake of making things, making life a little easier, we're just going to also allow the other one to run. Just in case. Okay, so from there, now we're going to open up the terminal. We should be hunky-dory right now. But you wish you were cool like me and had an Aperture Science terminal background. But you're not. Anyway. So, now... You got to remember where this folder is, um, because you're gonna have to type out the directory uh, to the file um, here in the terminal. So for me, you know, it's it's on the desktop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in a squiggly, which I think if I remember correctly that marks your your home directory, and I'm gonna go desktop blah, forward slash. Um, and then type in the name of the folder here. Uh, PC. Yeah, that's it. Um, then what we're going to do, since I put in the directory, is of course we're going to target this original shell file. So type out the name of it. Oh, first, though, um, 
put in a period and forward slash because that tells the terminal that you want to execute that. Uh, there are like a few other things, like I think you could put like sh and then forward slash or something, but my favorite is just to put a little period and then forward slash in there. So type out the name of the shell. And if I typed all that in correctly and I hit enter, it should run. Everything should be hunky-dory. It's not screaming at me, so that's a good sign. Yes, there we go, success. All right, and it really is that simple. Um, you just you just got to run it inside the terminal and you got to give those files permissions to, to execute. Because everything's got to be super secure in Linux. Things got to be super secure. So you got to tell, tell Linux that it's okay. You, you can run this thing. It's not going to hurt you. It's okay. Um, oh, yeah, I struggled with that. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the times I wanted to just tear my hair out because I couldn't figure out how to get it to run. And like I said, there are no resources I could really find talking about running RenPy games in, in Linux. So hopefully this video will work. Uh, but yeah, well, oh, one more thing. I don't know if I, well, anyway, uh, one more thing. Um, you got to leave the terminal up. Otherwise your game's going to crash. So you like, if I close it out real quick, close the window, <clears throat> there it goes. Killed it. Killed it dead. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm rambling. <laughs>